Good、uh, morning from New York City. I、uh, have a satsang coming up on Tuesday at、uh, Deepak Home Base in New York. Deepak Home Base is、uh, at、uh, ABC Home and Carpet、uh, on the corner of、uh, 19th and Broadway. The exact address is 888. Broadway. And、uh, Tuesday evening is、uh, the event where I shall be、uh, conducting a meditation and also elaborating on,、uh, on the process of healing. So,、uh, yesterday, as I was walking through Union Square, there were thousands of people、um, gathered. And、uh, protesting against、uh, the idea that, uh, 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 that uh, we have a president elect who, in their minds, and a lot of people's minds, including mine, represents、uh, a lot of、uh, racism and bigotry and prejudice and hatred. And so they all had these signs,、um, not my president. And、uh, the fact is, we have to accept the outcome of the election, even though we don't like it.、Um, it's a fact,、uh, due to the fact that、uh, the electoral vote, vote counts as the deciding vote, notwithstanding the popular vote.、Um, It's、uh, Mr. Trump who's going to be the next president of the United States. So,、um, if we don't accept that, I think we are probably in denial because、uh, there's not much we can do about it on a practical level. So,、uh, I thought today I will,、um, uh, Sayyid Raza Mushin says, I will protest and use my voice, and nothing can stop.、Uh, that's true.、Uh, nothing can stop as long as we have freedom of speech.、Um, and I hope that is not jeopardized. But、um, I wish you all the luck. But let me go a little bit beyond that right now to say that、uh, it doesn't seem likely that we can、uh, change the outcome, it's there. And uh, uh, he is the president elect, and、uh, we have to accept that, otherwise, we are in denial. So,、uh, we now have to decide、uh, how and、uh, what we can do、uh, to bring about our own healing and our collective healing. Because、um, we are in desperate healing. It's obvious from the Election,、uh, what is the picture in the background?、Uh, somebody asked that. Who is that? Sandra Joseph asked, says, What is the picture in the background? That is Lord Shiva riding Nandi the bull. And、uh, what he represents what he represents is uh, uh, the destruction of darkness. And、uh, therefore, resurrection and healing at the same time. Shiva has five aspects to his being, and that、uh, is actually going to be the topic of my、uh, discussion right now. Okay, so、um, how do we move forward? First, by recognizing that if the vote was almost 50 50 on either side, Then we are a very divided country, and that、uh, we have a lot of anger on both sides, and a lot of resentment, and a lot of、uh, hostility, and also there is guilt, shame, because uh, uh, both sides represent that、uh, guilt and shame because.、Uh, um, One side got what they wanted, but deep in their hearts, 
they know that bigotry and racism and hatred and misogyny uh, are never going to prevail. And uh, even though they got uh, the results they wanted. And the other side is feeling guilt and shame as well because uh, and they feel that they did not do enough. Uh, it seems only 19% or so of the millennials, millennials uh, voted. And now they must be feeling that they could have made a change. So uh, it's, it's a time of distress, no matter which side you're on. The country is fractured. The country is weak. And this country has uh, been a leader in the world um, in past times, but it seems that uh, we cannot lead when we are so broken and so, uh, so divided and so disempowered ourselves. So it doesn't matter who the leader is at this moment. We are a broken, fractured, weak collective consciousness, and our collective consciousness represents uh, dis-ease, disease. We are ill, we are sick. But uh, wherever there is suffering, there is also grace. Wherever there is suffering, there is also grace. Um, I'll repeat that. Um, wherever there is uh, suffering, there is grace. So, um, uh, somebody here, K. Carlson, is saying there's no 19th grow up. <coughs> I'm afraid, K., I don't understand your question. Could you um, uh, please rephrase it so I can understand it? Okay, so what I was saying is, wherever there is um, suffering, there is also grace. There is also healing. So let's look at this process of healing. You know, healing is the opposite of suffering, and yet, um, in a way, they come together. So when I think about uh, our levels of existence, I think of them um, at many levels. I think of uh, our existence at many levels. So being, feeling, thinking, speaking, and doing are the levels uh, of our existence. <clears throat> at the level of being, which is the highest intelligence, the universe works through us because being is beyond objects of subject, object split. Being is therefore beyond the poles of opposite. Being is neither sinner nor saint nor divine nor diabolical. Being is the transcendence uh, of everything into one experience. So being is ultimately truth and being is ultimately love. And in that state of being, there is only oneness. So at the level of being, there is um, perfect wholeness, healing, and, uh, and uh, biologically homeostasis. <clears throat> As we come out of the level of being, the first level is feeling, feeling because that's a very fundamental state. But as soon as we start to feel, we are already out of transcendence. Transcendence was not in time. Feeling is in time. And so now in our biology, you have both um, um, the possibility of homeostasis and the possibility of entropy. Uh, these are the two competing forces. So if we are experiencing the feelings of love, compassion, joy, empathy, um, if we are feeling equanimity, wonder, um, curiosity, insight, intuition, 
um, um, the desire for truth, goodness, beauty, harmony, evolution. That feeling um, is uh, the opposite of the feelings that can cause entropy. So those feelings that I just mentioned, they bring us in the direction of uh, homeostasis. On the other hand, if you're feeling, if you're feeling anger and hostility and resentment and grievances, the need for retribution, uh, guilt, shame, uh, mistrust, uh, depression, those um, feelings will bring us uh, in the direction of entropy. And so um, we now need uh, to um, see which choice we favor. Are we favoring homeostasis or are we favoring um, entropy? The choice is ours, okay, at the level of feeling. From being to feeling to thinking. If our thinking um, is uh, dogmatic, if our thinking is what's in it for me, if our thinking is all about uh, me, 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 then that is a choice for entropy. If our thinking is um, how can I help, what can I do, um, how can I be of service, how can I be creative, how can I help in finding a solution, and that kind of thinking, which is more questioning and not dogmatic, um, is going to move us and our biology in the direction of homeostasis. So that's the choice. Where are you at the level of thinking? Being, feeling, thinking. Next is speech. So speech is reflecting what's happening in the inner world at the level of thinking and feeling. So right now, let's make the choice. If our words are harsh, if our words are cruel, if our words demean the other, humiliate, humiliate the other, uh, if our words result in the shaming of the other, then uh, those words are uh, in the direction of entropy and uh, if our words are nurturing, if our words are kind, if our words are compassionate, if our words create joy uh, in the other, then those words can heal. Uh, those words can restore homeostasis. Finally, action. Action which is all about uh, oneself, action which is driven by greed and uh, driven by uh, the desire to hoard, to, to uh, control, to manipulate. Um, those actions uh, will certainly hurt uh, hurt uh, the world and will take us in the direction of entropy but if our actions are coming from the desire to serve then those actions will bring about healing so there we are healing is possible from the level of being from the living level of feeling from the level of thinking, from the level of uh, speaking, and from the level of uh, doing service. Trent Ward says, I hear people repeating what they are told to feel on their news channel on both sides. Verbatim, re verbatim repeating same words and phrases. Ever notice that how corporate media is purposefully dividing and
and um, uh, telling, purposely dividing people and they follow like sheep repeating, maybe we should turn off the TV. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know, Trent. Uh, uh, your reaction uh, itself is a little bit reactive. So instead of um, saying what you're saying, consider that the corporations are are basically um, run by people who invest and therefore represent a significant uh, part of the public supporting them. It's time to stop blaming corporations, stop blaming the government, stop blaming, blaming capitalism, stop blaming communism, stop blaming anyone. The world is as we are and we should accept that right now and do what we can. And uh, I am, all I'm saying is what the wisdom traditions have said and that is um, um, that uh, we need to begin uh, to be the change we want to see in the world. And of course uh, um, this has uh, been said before uh, and there's nothing new in it. We can't repeat the same things and expect different results. Right now we need to go to the deepest um, level of our being and from there unfold the choices that bring us um, healing, homeostasis, self-regulation, self-correction, self-evolution. I don't see any other way. So start from the most fundamental level and look at those aspects of existence, being, feeling, reflecting, thinking, speaking and doing. And then, um, um, then um, start being that change. Many people are liking that uh, picture in the background. Shiva has many beings. Shiva um, has many levels of existence like the ones I said right now. But Shiva represents destruction when times are dark and then destruction of ignorance and then incubation through meditation and then creation once again and resurrection and then evolution. So let's all become Shiva. Shivo Hum. You know that's the mantra, Shivo Hum. It means I am Shiva. And then beyond that, Shiva is pure consciousness. So when you silently repeat the mantra, Shivo Hum, you are saying, I am pure consciousness. In that pure consciousness, there are infinite possibilities, infinite correlation, infinite joy, infinite evolution, and the power of intention. Shivo Hum. Shivo Hum. Shivo Hum. Balaji Raghunathan says, creation is from Brahma. Yes. Original creation is from Brahma, but Shiva is the destroyer who then takes on the appearance of Brahma and again the expression of Vishnu as the maintain, as the one that maintains creation, evolution, maintenance, destruction, incubation resurrection, creation again. Shivo Ham, Shivo Ham, I am pure consciousness. All the best. <laughs>